Even while she's alone reading quietly on the couch, Kaylin Wallace is balancing a busy social schedule. Her friends and family are as close as her phone, and Kaylin rarely loses touch. My phone's never turned off. It's always on. Uh, I have between, I've had uh, cell phone bills, 5,000 to 7,000 text messages a month. All that texting takes time and sometimes affects Kaylin's health. Kaylin has diabetes and several times a day needs to check her blood sugar levels and give herself insulin treatments called boluses. But with so much going on, it's easy to forget, a trend Kaylin's doctor noticed with several of her patients. Most of them missed anywhere between 9 and 11 boluses per week, that being that there are only three usually per day. So they really were not taking the majority of their boluses. So Dr. Jennifer Dyer of Nationwide Children's Hospital had an idea. Since so many of her teen patients spend so much of their time texting, why not join them? In a small pilot study, Dyer, who's also with Ohio State University, sent text messages to her patients reminding them to take their medicine. And in a short time, saw a big difference. The teens were three times less likely to miss a dose. At the end of the texting period, which was three months, they were only missing three or four a week. It worked so well, Dyer is now applying for grants to expand her texting study to include 50 more patients. Kaylin hopes the idea catches on with other doctors because that connection, she says, however it happens, is important. I'm leaving for college soon, so I'm under a lot of stress, and I think the little reminders just help. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.